Now, furniture, French fry, 99, all the same side. Um, I've seen also chairs as a generic for furniture, meaning like the things, furniture. So you can use couch, couch, it's like an extended chair. You'll also see this for couch, which is the shape, right? The rectangular shape or a sectional. Uh, so you can you see, you can also use, this is hard to do a sectional. You could do, this is more like a bench. <coughs> I've seen rocking chair, because this is also for swing, rocking chair. Um, this feels awkward. This feels like basketball, but rocking chair. I tend to sign this rocking chair. We need to add more to this list. Five. I've seen this for like a four poster, you know, bed. for like a bed cover. Um, blanket. Tend to be, if you do it up here, it's pillow. If you do it down here, it just means soft mattress. You'll see desk signed with a D. It's less in favor now, but because it's initialized from the English. But most time, and we, with a lot of these, we will do this and then place it in the room with the. This is the generic object, um, as opposed to flat some flat surface table, boom bed, boom right. So if it's just chair. Boom, TV, TV, flat screen on the wall. It could be a round clock, could be, you know, like a little rectangular, whatever, Salvador Dali.
So here's the frame, right? Remember this from the Hard Rock Cafe description in ASL2. Depending on, it could be oblong, like the guitars were. Painting, painting, generally speaking, painting, if you're talking about art, fine art kind of, or hotel art, it's with the, the U or the H, because that's a smaller brush. Curtains. So think about like the big curtains that sweep, like proscenium mark, and they can do that. Right? So curtains. Curtains. It's curtains for you! Blinds. You know, I, I, it's hard because I don't think of this as vocab. I think of describing it as like if you've got the vertical blinds, if you've got horizontal blinds. Um, light. So remember, this is the sign for light, like you're holding a flashlight, light. There's also lights off, lights on, right? It's always good to set up a classifier before you sign it. Because if I go, you can guess that it could be an umbrella, or it could be throw that out in the corner, right? But if I go light, boom, you know I mean turn on that light in the corner. Okay. Uh, and it's an environment or an uh, elemental classifier because it's the beam of light, the rays coming down, kind of like water flowing, right? That's an ECL. The other is when you see the DCL, means a descriptive classifier, where we're drawing the picture. Here comes my cat. Hi. Let me bring you in the camera. Do, 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 do. You just sort of see him. Anyway, um, plant, plant. This is the generic plant or sp or spring or blossom. You can also do if it's a big one, if it's a kind of little one. All right, I got you're gonna claw at me, so I have to screen you over there. So just be patient. Um, fold. Folding chair, fold, because you know you fold it, right? So folding chair, double tap. This is hearkening back to when we talked about the restaurants. So it's all the same stuff. Go back and look over the, the stuff from your book from that, um, where you start out by describing the perimeter, right? You are saying, this is where I'm going to describe it. I've just now delineated my signing space. So now that person has drawn a square or rectangle in the room or in, in their signing space. They see it in yours and you're about to describe it and say, here's like a fireplace, couch, uh, plant, shelves, right? And signer's perspective, what I'm looking at is shelves over here. There's a clock, boom plant, corner TV, and I'm using corner. We did that from directions before. So from ASL2, so corner, right? So it's, it's like coming up and over the light. I like this for coffee table better. Or boom, you could use this for the lamp, right? Boom, because it's sort of that shape. But you wouldn't use this for a chair or a TV because it's not taller. Not even the grandfather clock because it's really tall. Okay, so stand at your at the door to a room and try to draw. Now I went from this. My right all the way to the left. You can go from left to right. There's nothing in the middle of this room. 
So it's not like there's this huge dining room table that you, or a huge chandelier that you go, well, you walk in, you see that first, boom, and then describe the rest of the room. Um, you, can, you also have a choice whether you want to go top down or bottom up um, in describing things. Uh, for right now, just worry about left to, uh, right to left or left to right. That's the big thing. Just have an organizing plan. Walk your way through. If you're jumping back and forth, it's just going to be confusing. And it's going to look like, um, I don't know, a U-Haul storage you know, locker where it's just random stuff put in. Same can be done with bedroom. So start out by giving the room the size and shape of the room. And then work your way around. Boop, 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 boop. And it's just practicing all that vocab. Um, in this chapter, there are going to be some room descriptions and simple questions about rooms. We're going to get to them in a second. Um, but you can ask about things. Where this is how they're recommending practicing the vocab. Asking questions, the WH questions about how big something is, what color, what furniture do you have, and other things. Do you have a TV in there? Or do you have... I don't, whatever else you want to talk, computer. Um, and there's some example questions to practice with. Same grammar that we've done all along. So portable, like small, right? A small thing, boom, boom, boom. Or, you know, big T. Right. So uh, if with all these, when we write in gloss and the book presents them in gloss, it may mean having to step back and go, what are they really asking? Because, you know, signing naturally, they try not to be too obvious with the English. There could be one English word that's a perfect match for the sign, especially in this context. And they're going to go, mm, let's say console. Again, this was also written before we had flat screen TVs. So they're, they're going to be uh, a bit old fashioned. So take a look at those sentences. Anything in a box, try to try to practice those and try to put the, figure out the rhythm of when do my eyebrows go up? When do they go down? It really makes sense. Um, it'll feel right uh, as you start doing it. Um, so the next ones are the, Finger spine, of course, stove, refrigerator, sink, S-I-N-K. Um, oven. Usually it's boom, boom. Open the door, put the pan in, right? Oven, oven. Electric, gas. Maybe it's wood fire. Uh, cabinet. Cabinet or cupboard. If it's, an, if it's like... A wardrobe. So just define the size of it. That often helps. If it's kitchen cabinets, maybe it's down below. So there's a there's a counter, and underneath are the doors open or drawers. Jesus. This is also the sign for ice. So here's the water flowing, and it freezes. Right. So freezer. Microwave, MWO, I have never seen that, except for in this book, microwave oven. That's old when people used to call it a microwave oven, as now everyone just says, put it in microwave. So microwave, boom, boom. If not, most of the time, that's what we about. Okay, microwave. I've seen people play microwave, and it's a bad pun, so don't make it, because it's, it's kind of dumb. Microwave. Microwave. Uh, dish washer. Dish washer. I've seen this for dishwasher. Dish. Here's a plate, plate, plate. Wash. It's sort of the dish laundry. I've seen it most of the time. Dishwasher. I find myself doing this, though, a lot. Countertop. 
Some people do dish de dishwasher. I'm dishwasher. Dishwasher seems as easy. Uh, countertop, right? So it's descriptive. Flat hand. Once again, we're time clock, whatever the shape of the clock is. Um, ceiling fan. I tend to fingerspell fa fan. So, Beth. It's funny. I've never seen anyone go, unless they're talking about, oh, toilet chair. Toilet. As opposed to what? Right? Toilet table. <laughs> or I suppose if you're talking about the old outhouses where they were like, hole, 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 hole. That makes sense. Ew. Mirror. Right. Reflection. It's also the same for seams, if you've seen that before. Uh, seems like so it's the same idea as like you're on, you're looking at something bath to bathe and you're going to sink tub most people don't say bathroom unless it's specifically for bathing right? just do bathroom rest room for people who think the toilet is too gross uh, ba -ba -ba -bum, shower. Towel. Towel. I most of the times do towel. Sometimes I see people do this. Towel. Soap. Because it's slippery. Sign for butter is with two fingers. Soap, butter. Both are made from... Lipids, right? Uh, toilet paper, toilet paper. Can I get your toilet paper? TP. I've never seen TP. Uh, I mean, unless it's someone again who thinks that saying toilet is embarrassing. People poop. Oh my god! Don't let anybody know. Okay, society will crumble. And tissue paper. Oh, I need tissue. Most of the time, people just go. Oh, but you can do paper. So here we have kitchen. Same thing applies. You know, you got the kitchen table. You can work your way around. Ceiling fan. Bathroom. So again, there's a lot of content in this one, but it really is baby steps. We've already gone over most of this stuff. Is the room color coordinated? Do all of them? or look the same. Like I know some people who every appliance had to be from the same company in the same style and you know, thousands to, to do that. If that's important to you, great. I don't care. So lots of asking for details about different things. So the next, I think there are four questions here. This one, no, oh, eight. Eight questions about rooms in your house. They're very simple questions. Um, they may be a little fast, but hopefully a couple viewings and you'll be fine. Um, but they're very simple questions about the different rooms in your house, what's in them. Uh, so look through those and make sure you understand what they're signing. So here's a little bit more structure for dialogue of um, does the house have something? Yes or no. And then narrow in, get more specific information. Okay. So, you know, basic stuff. We've already gone over a lot of this, um, but they have a couple of examples. Um, this is a picture from the text, scan from the textbook. This is me starting to type them out. Uh, so I have a little bit more flexibility as we move forward. So please ignore if there's, when there's repetition. Um, so this is, again, same question we had before. We're asking for a little bit more. Normally, we would split up and have you talk to each other about where you live. Um, 
And again, same thing. So what's in your wallet? Funny, I, a friend of mine was one of those, uh, it wasn't the Gauls, I guess they were. It wasn't Vikings. They looked like Vikings, but they weren't. Anyway, um, doo -doo -doo -doo. so there are different ways. What this is setting up is something that's going to pop up at the end, and it's a grid of here are a bunch of questions to go around and ask. The idea is to survey, we'll, we would informally survey the class to find out who had, uh, what portion of the population of the class has various things. And then we would compare for um, an upcoming slide of do most people, do very few people have things, so we can talk about that. There are four more complete room descriptions now, these videos, four of them, um, and you can actually uh, compare them to the pictures of the individual rooms, the living room, the kitchen, the uh, bathroom, those ones. That's the level of detail that they're giving. So you're going to want to rewatch these, pause them, play them back. But they're really clear descriptions, all things considered. Um, so we're setting up for this to be able to talk about uh, a, a continuum, um, a spectrum, if you will. So all. All houses have this. And what I'm doing is I'm starting out with palm out, palm back, and then this one scoops around and lands. So now both palms are facing towards me. All. So I'm scooping everything up and holding, right? All. You've probably seen that one before. There's also all. Because it's a number sign as opposed to an FS, it means it's a lexical finger spine. It doesn't go. It goes all, A-L-L, -L. it all, turkey, all. Most, most, this goes up. So here's what the norm is and more people are doing this, most. Many, many, so you're throwing lots of things out there, many, many, some, 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 right? You're cutting off a portion. It's not half. It's just some. Half. You could do half. 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 Several. Several. Several and few are very similar. I found that several is the whole hand. Few is with three. I brought that up to a linguist and they're like, no, that's not a thing. I'm like, no, I just see it all the time. But they were studying other stuff, so. And none. None can go, pff, there could be none, none. I've also seen uh, with is the best way I can, the best English word, where it's like, you know how you open up your, you see on cartoons when someone opens their wallet and a moth comes flying out? It's that kind of, ain't none. Um, and then this is the survey information of like, do most students live in houses? Do most students live in how many people have garages. So that's what we're trying to do. Take all of the vocab and apply it to the class. Most, all, some, none. So we've done all these things in previous lectures. So now we're just adding a couple more um, that I got to work on. So we go back to the vocab. That's 1302. It, as I say, it seems like it's the longest one. And I'm guess I don't even know how long this video was, is. Um, so just review that. It, again, it's a baby step. It's a little bit more information. Take what you know. Describe your room, your house, um, the front. What does it look like? If it's an apartment building, and then you, and then you can enter. enter. So notice I set it off on the side, but then when I enter my apartment, I can go, that's my thumb catches. I get stuck. All right. So that's 1302. 